This is another interesting case about changing sex and name under the Philippine jurisprudence. The case is Republic versus Kagandaan. The facts of the case, Respondent Jennifer Kagandahan was born on January 13, 1981 with congenital adrenal hyperplasia, a condition where a person possesses both male and female congenital. Genetically, Jennifer is a female, but because her body secretes male hormones, her female organs did not develop normally, and she has two sex organs. She prayed for the change of her name from Jennifer to Jeff and of her sex from female to male in her birth certificate. RTC granted the respondent's petition on the grounds that her condition was medically proven and his feelings and actions are that of a male. OSG then filed before the Supreme Court to reverse the RTC's decision. Main issue here is whether or not Jennifer is entitled to change her sex and name by reason of her medical condition. The ruling of the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court denied the petition to reverse RTC's decision, although the petitioner contended that the petition changes of name and sex is not compliant with the Rules 103 and 108 of the Rules of Court the Supreme Court considered the recognition of intersexuality and its variations should not be subject to outright denial. As he viewed that when a person is naturally intersex, the factor to determine the sex would be what the individual thinks of her sex when she reached the age of majority, since the intersexuality makes the gender classification at birth inconclusive. Considering that the respondent had the choice to go through surgeries to fix her condition, she still let the nature take its course, and the court respected that. Unlike Silveria v. Republic, the case of Kagandahan doesn't involve sex alteration. So, the Supreme Court here ruled that Jennifer can change her name and sex because of his natural condition.